Cougar Helicopters, which is based in St. John's in Newfoundland and Labrador on the east coast of Canada, operates a fleet of nine Sikorsky S-92 helicopters in search and rescue and offshore oil and gas transport roles. The Science Channel's new documentary series, Mega Machines, debuted with an episode about the S-92 and how Cougar uses the aircraft in its missions. While guests screened the film over popcorn at the recent Halley Expo show, we caught up with Cougar CEO, Hank Williams. Cougar's roots go back to Nova Scotia, Canada in uh, 1984, uh, where uh, a, a couple of S-61s uh, performing uh, basically some search and rescue work at the time. Really in 1997 is when Cougar really jumped into the big heavy machines, IFR and uh, offshore activity uh, with the winning of an Exxon Mobil contract in Newfoundland, Canada. In 2005 is when Cougar first uh, purchased his first S-92. We learned to grow with that aircraft. One of the main reasons, our missions is not a short distance from the shoreline. We're going anywhere from 200 to 300 nautical miles. It was important that we had an aircraft that had the range capacity, the ability to carry extra fuel, and yet at the same time be able to carry a decent payload for those distances. And the automation on the aircraft is fantastic and, you know, different SAR modes. So it's a, it's a prime aircraft for search and rescue in regions such as ours with Irish weather. And we have a lot of ex-military people in, uh, in our organization. The pilots love the aircraft. They love the systems on the aircraft. Uh, for example, uh, you know, the NVG cockpits, uh, which is very great for night vision uh, search and rescue. The autopilot, like I said, automation. The automation of this aircraft is fantastic. And the pilots, uh, they love automation, that's for sure. These aircraft have to work in extremely tough conditions, so safety is always a priority. We operate a very robust uh, risk management system, and the operation of the aircraft is enclosed within that risk management system. Every mission we fly, everything has been risk assessed for mitigating factors that we can bring it down to ALARP as low as practically possible. Uh, and if we change a mission profile or go to a mission that we have not done before, we make sure that we develop a risk assessment so that it's handled and managed through that robust program. The oil and gas business continues to feel the pressure of low prices so activity is still reduced. We asked Hank what he thinks the future may hold for Cougar in this economic environment. Our primary role is with the oil and gas industry at this point, but we are uh, exploring some civilian search and rescue programs, as well as possibly some uh, rescue programs uh, with the Danish government in areas like Greenland. We've operated in Greenland before. With the downturn in the oil and gas, of course, exploration is, has slowed down a little bit, so we're, we're experiencing some of that pain as well, whereas that some of our aircraft are not as busy as we like them to be. Uh, but I'm an op optimist, and I think uh, everything is going to come back up and uh, in a couple of years uh, I'll be looking for more S92s.